Kier, aka Mug of Tea Gamer. Thanks a lot for joining me for this instalment of the Rugby World Cup uh, New Zealand, uh, the New Zealand campaign, Rugby World Cup 2007. <laughs> Falling over my words there. So as you remember, we topped the pool, um, having beaten everybody and got all the bonus points, no injuries, all good news, fantastic stuff, etc. Perfect. Last game was against Ireland in the quarterfinal. Uh, and I'm going to show you now who our next opponent is and how things stand. And there's a few shocks in store. You can see that uh, New Zealand beat Ireland 36-0, which is us. Fantastic. Um, the Springboks beat Australia 26-23. Really, really close. And they'll be our next opponents. Wales absolutely obliterated England 54-16. Uh, to make it to uh, the semi-final and we'll be playing against France who destroyed the Italians 52-17 in their quarter-final. Um, so you can see we've got uh, an interesting uh, semi-final mix coming on here. We've got New Zealand against Aus uh, South Africa which is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to this game a lot. Traditional rivals, great stuff. But then we'll see who we're going to play in the final. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. So, I'm jumping the gun if we make it to the final. Right, let's play the box first of all. And get on with the game. Here we go. Okay. So, um, I can't even remember the, the first time that, that the South Africa and, and New Zealand played. Um, but it's one of my favourite matches every single year. Um, simply because it's... Two fantastic rugby nations, very different styles, uh, always really passionate, always 100 miles an hour from the very beginning to the very end. I cannot remember ever seeing a, a box versus all blacks game which wasn't full blast the entire game. So let's see how we do. Pulsar there, great player. Okay, so there it is. Yeah. first we're going to get it to Dan Carter, get ourselves some field position. Now, the Springboks actually won the, the real-life um, 2007 World Cup. Uh, they are a quality team. Perhaps the most impressive aspect about South Africa is their uh, second-row partnership. Um, Matt Field uh, yeah, Matt yeah, Matt and... Um, <laughs> Back is both of them, that's it. Both are in, and uh, Matt Field. I ha almost had an embarrassment where I've forgotten their names. But they're incredibly impressive. And of course, you've also got Brian Habana um, on the wing. And you've got Percy Montgomery. And you notice there with a the ruck, they did not give me a single inch. But we scored! Yes! The perfect start. I don't know why they stood off in defence there, but they did. And I thank you very much for it. So we got nothing from them all, but more important, we didn't get anything from them all. But most, but what we did get from them all was we kept all their forwards tied in there because they've got a quality back row. Um, now let's see how this wind affects us. I hook it. I'm not sure. Um, I know, got it. Fantastic. Because um, they've got Shout Burger on the the flank. Um, uh, along with Johan Smith, I think, is, is the other another flanker. So, yeah, you want to tie up the, the all-black forwards as much as possible. And, and in a real game, because they're such heavy forwards, you want to you wanna move them around the pitch. You want to exhaust them as much as possible. Now, let's see my old little ploy of cutting against the grain with Joe Rocococo. If we're going to get much joy from this... No, that was a poor pass! Right. Not very good, but Umanga did flatten <laughs> Stein, and I that wish that I was go. playing in chain there shirts yep. right now because I'm having a little bit of difficulty with the colour schemes, but that's no excuse. Good, we've still got hold of the ball. In the middle yep. of the pitch, I think we go blind. Yeah, this, um, I tackle referee thank you um i wish i'd changed their color their, their their shirts to white doesn't matter though doesn't matter right let's ooh, that's not a very good kick oh. of mind pushes them back into there 
22. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. I have to stand very close to the screen to make sure I know um, which side is which. I'm desperately looking at those Springbok shorts. It's the only way I can actually spot the difference between my team and their team when I've got someone going at full pelt. Oh, there we go. Good. Richard McCaw, thank you. No, oh, I thought I'd got him to pass. No! Right. Okay, so currently... We're only one score ahead, but, please let me get this line out, but we have kept them in their half very much. We've been dominating possession and field territory, and so far, so far, so far, so far, they've not had a chance to get any momentum, and I don't want to curse myself by saying more than that. And I thought they were going to get pinned for offside then. Let go, let go, let go. Play on. Whoa, yes! Lovely loop around. That's what I like to see. Lovely pop pass. That's what the bonus having us uh, strong um, uh, wingers are. They can take the tackle and still deliver the ball. Now we have got a very windy day. I'm going to have to push my kick in low. 35 kilometers now. Right, push it to the left and just hit and hope and that's the best I can do and let's see how we do nope that hit the bar I think oh well you take what you can get and you don't worry about the rest 12 nil after half an hour against the spring box you would never complain about that you'd say thank you very much I will take that oh I thought he was away then but that's what happens when you're playing against the box now, I think we're going to do a kick behind, because I no, it wasn't very clever. But anyway, thankfully my tackler got there early, so they couldn't build any momentum. I've got to say, I've not yet seen Brian Habana. Has he been injured? Because so far, I'm not going to take it quickly, so far I've not seen any sign of him. I wonder what's that. Okay, more. I don't. I think he's injured because I think they've got um, Peterson and they've got Pulsar on the wings, which is a bonus. Thank you very much. Bad luck to the to the box, but good luck to us. Okay, we're getting lots of pop passes here, which is great. Let go, let go, let go. La 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 la. Okay. There it is, yep. Oh, that was... Oh, yes, no, no, no. Come on, come on, guys, come on. Oh, high tackle, high tackle, high tackle, high tackle, high tackle. Rare, thank you. Yeah, that's fair. Now, what happens now? Do I get an absolute bonus? Oh, it's just a ticking off. Come on, referee! You know, in a in, uh, sorry to be boring on it, but in a real life situation, when you got something like that, where you got a high tackle right close to the line, that would be a penalty try every day of the month. But there we go. It's just a game, and it's just a computerized game, so it doesn't matter. No, I thought I'd got it. There, I thought I'd got it. Was it try? Is that try? Yes! I thought I was going to have to pop past, past it, but it actually just, just, just flopped over the line. The most undignified try ever. But who cares? I can't believe that wasn't a penalty try, but actually I can believe it wasn't a penalty try because whether you like it or not, there's some of these computer games have got little things where you kind of go, well, that's not like real life. And it's not. And you know what? The wind would not be that strong in that particular stadium. I know that stadium. <laughs> anyway, right, doesn't matter. Let's not complain, because in real life, I don't play professional rugby either. Okay, begin the second half at 17-0 ahead, which I'm very, very happy about. So, again, let's see how we do. 
if we've got a comfortable lead. Oh, you see, now this is where... This... Oh, no, 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 tackle him, tackle him. That's mental. Uh, now I'm finally getting the feeling of, okay, the game's gone right. Okay, you've had a good first half. Right, we're going to come right back at you. There was me thinking to myself, I wonder if I should do a replacement for Dan Carter. No way am I doing a, a replacement for Dan Carter until this game is done because Percy Montgomery is kicking like there's no breeze. Did you see that kick? Did you see that? Apparently it's supposed to be 35 kilometers an hour crosswinds and he kicks it like there's no wind at all. That's where you're kind of going, right, uh, are you sure about that? Okay, so 17-7 now. And suddenly the game's got interesting. And this is the first time so far in this World Cup that I've begun to think to myself, you know what, yeah, we shall see how we do. You can see that I'm a very pessimistic person by nature. <laughs> I'm always going, oh, I'm only 10 points ahead. Whereas most normal people go, oh, 10 points ahead against the Springboks. No, you muppet, you muppet. Why did I not pass then? I thought I had. But that's it. Just clatter into the into the kicker. Take him out. Now let's see if we can get a quick ball here. Oh, I'm sure they came up offside there. Or were they just super, super quick? Right, let's go blind. That was a nice little run. Right, and let's go blind again. No. It's all over the place now. Well, except... We've slightly. Oh, come on. Back inside. Oh, did I run into touch? Okay, never mind. Right. Let's see if I can nick a ball here. Right. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> uh, never try to throw to the back of the line out when I'm near. Because I will try to pilfer it as much as possible. And that was a lovely drive. Lovely job from the forwards there. Come on, Jerry. I thought you'd have scored there. Richie McCaw, try time. <laughs> Doing a shoulder barge into nothing and then getting whacked sideways. But, you know, try. Good, right. So now we've got to put the wind behind us. Maybe that's how Percy Montgomery's kick was so so straight and true. Maybe he wouldn't have to deal with the crosswind. Okay. <sighs> okay, good. So, 24-7, looking nice and healthy now. If we get the next score, then I think I will actually take down Carter off. Now, what am I doing? I'm running with a forward here. A high tackle referee! Thank you. I'm, you know, I, I, I have not done a single high tackle all tournament, given more than just a talking to. Come on! Another piece of dangerous play. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, ref. Come on, referee. This is ridiculous. How many high tackles do they have to do before someone gets carded? I feel this is just silly. Anyway. <laughs> it's silly. Says a fully grown man playing a computer game about a game. I think that says it all. How? I think I may have left lost all sense of irony here. If I'm accusing a computerised referee in a game of a ball game of being unfair. <laughs> no! I thought my player would get away! That was Brendan Pulser, I think, cutting down. I should have passed it. Should have seen the guy chasing him down. Right. Let's see how we do. Ooh. Oh, what's a good play. That's a good tackle. Well done. That was a saving tackle. Now, let's see if we can turn this into... Yes! 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 Lucky bounce! Yes! Right, 10 minutes to go. And I'm going to do replacement. I'm going to again bring on um, McAllister. Again, you see, I've, I've dumped. I'm so sorry for all the um, uh, Carlos Spencer fans out there, but I've dumped him. I, I need a... I need, I need a different sort of player. And if Carlos Spencer was uh, a centre, I would pick him. 
I pick him every day of the week, but right now he is not. He only put he's only listed as a fly half, and in that particular case, I'm not going to play him. I'm sorry. Right. Anyway, fantastic. Let's get um, good. Here's McAllister. Perfect time to bring him on. Um, that way, if you get any horrible injuries, at least it won't be to Dan Carter, which is great. Whew. Okay, so. We've had two great counter-attacks from the Springboks. Um, one resulting in a try, and that last one from um, Montgomery, which ended in Rocco Coco chasing him down and tackling him. I am very happy to keep ball in hand and to eat up time try to get points if I can but not be too worried if I don't because all I care about right now is possession thank you is that hands in the ruck referee the good thing is I'm going to eat up time now thank you we're going to kick for touch so that I don't risk any of my players They've only got two minutes left of normal play. They can't come back to win it. The worst they can do is inflict an injury on me uh, to one of my players, which takes them out of the final, because we are going to the World Cup final. And we're counting down. We're now at 10, and time is up, and I'm kicking it out, because I don't care if I score any more points. The game is done. We are in the final. We shall see who we meet, whether it's going to be France or Wales. If Wales make it be the first World Cup final ever, that will be very exciting. And what a turnaround. In the real World Cup 2007, they were knocked out at the pool stage. And here they are in this computerized version. They could be in the World Cup final. We shall wait and see. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tense battle against the mighty box. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, Hit like, subscribe, notification... Uh, leave a comment if there's anything you'd love to see. And thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,